Welcome. Today I am sharing my favorite shampoo and conditioners of 2020. I really should say 2019 and 2020 because I have not changed anything in the last couple of years. Before I share those products with you, I do want to share some information. I always have three shampoo and conditioners on hand. I always keep two in my shower and then I periodically rotate. So again, there's always two different brands in the shower. I alternate the shampoo and conditioners. So if I use one brand, the next time I will use the other brand. Then I'll go back to the first one, then I'll go to the next one. And again, probably every couple of months, I will rotate them out and, and I will put a new one in and keep one that is already in there. So I hope that makes sense. Another thing to share is I don't wash my hair often. I'm very fortunate. I can get away with washing my hair about every four to five days. Rarely do I ever wash my hair every third day. It is almost always on the fourth or fifth day. I am aware that not everyone can get away with that, but I did do a little bit of research and I did find that you have to acclimate your hair to going longer bet between washes. So if you have a desire to wash your hair less and go more days in between, but you feel like you can't because you produce a lot of oil, well, I did some research and evidently, if you force yourself to commit to going longer, your hair will adapt. So there you go, great tip. I highly recommend it. It's so nice to go uh, several days without washing. I also believe that my hair styles better when it's more dirty. Today, I have three day hair. So it's been three days. Since I washed my hair, I may wash it tomorrow or I may extend it a day. Often how I determine that is I kind of look at my schedule and I decide how it works because I can get ready faster on days that I don't wash my hair. So tomorrow I'm not planning on getting all ready, so therefore I may wash my hair tomorrow because Friday will be a get ready day and I'll be filming and it will cost me less time to get ready. So that's why I may do it tomorrow. So it really just depends, but it's always every four to five days. Rarely ever do I wash every third day. Also stay tuned because a couple weeks ago, I did a poll or asked you on Instagram stories to ask me your hair questions. And I had thought about including that in today's video, but I felt like the video would get too long. So stay tuned. It may be the next video or the video following that, but within the next week, I should have a video coming out where I'm answering your hair questions. Let's get started with the shampoo and conditioners that I use. The first one I want to talk about is the Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo. I use this shampoo only once every five weeks, the day that I am going in for a color and cut. So my hair stylist likes me to come in with clean, dry hair the morning of, or maybe the night before, but I would generally say the morning of my color cut and style, I will wash my hair and I always use this shampoo let me share a little bit about it. Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo instantly removes up to 90% of heavy dulling residue caused by shampoos, conditioners, and styling products. This shampoo instantly rinses away buildup. That is really why I like to use an anti-residue shampoo. This doesn't smell the greatest. I still do two rounds and I do still condition my hair, but again, I only use this when I'm going in for a color treatment. The next shampoo and conditioner I want to share is the Joyco K-Pack 
shampoo and conditioner. My hair technician who I have been going to for 27 years this October, no one else has done my hair but my, my hair tech Lori. And I've shared her in previous videos. What I will do is in the drop down box below, I will have every single video having to do with hair that's somewhat current, maybe within the last couple years linked. But she is the one that turned me on to the Joyco K-Pack. She does use Joyco for my color and I do share that in a video where I take you to the hair salon with me and Lori shares with you what she uses to color my hair. But before doing or after she colors, and she washes my hair, she almost always uses the K-Pack. I love it so much. Let me share a little bit about it. The Joyco K-Pack shampoo is a cream-based formula shampoo. It provides a lot of moisture to the hair. It's a hair healing product that goes right to the damaged area of the cuticle, instantly filling in those lost amino acids while restoring elasticity, strength, and shine. The shampoo is not sulfate free. It has two sulfates in it, which makes sense considering it's a color care product. The Joyco K-Pack conditioner is a rich hydrating conditioner that has a light touch formula, meaning it's not a heavy product. It delivers intense shine and smoothness, repairs and fills in cuticle damage, strengthens hair with protection against daily styling, and chemical services. It detangles the hair with ease. I also have purchased in the past the color therapy. So if you are someone who wants to ensure that you have that protection with your color, I feel like the original K-Pack does do it, but there is a color therapy line. I will have both type of products linked below as well as, well as everything else that I talk about. Don't forget that top link in the drop down box will take you to the corresponding blog post where it's easier to shop from. The next shampoo and conditioner I want to share is by Alterna. It's the Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. This product smells great. Love this. It is splurgy. It is pricey, but I can't get away from it, so I just continue to use it. Let's talk a little bit more about it. The Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Shampoo is a sulfate and paraben-free shampoo. The key benefits of this shampoo is that it replenishes and seals in moisture, adds softness and shine, and improves the overall look and feel of your hair. The shampoo is formulated with luxurious caviar extract, rich in omega fatty acids, vitamins and minerals to help defend and protect against the factors that cause hair to feel and look older, such as physical, chemical, and natural aging. The Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Conditioner is a lipid rich conditioner that conditions and strengthens dry hair, reduces breakage, and replenishes and seals in moisture. It also provides thermal protection and it is also sulfate and paraben free. The next product I want to talk about is by Living Proof. It's the Restore Shampoo and Conditioner. Been using this for a long time. There are other great products by Living Proof. I also have the Perfect Hair Day shampoo and conditioner, but I will admit that I actually prefer the Restore over the Perfect Hair Day. I know a lot of people love this one, so I will have both of them linked, but let's talk about the Restore line. Living Proof Restore Shampoo is a gentle shampoo powered by Living Proof's patented healthy hair molecule that works with conditioning agents and a mild amino acid derived surfactant that cleanses hair. They work together to restore dry damaged cuticles, protect from future damage, and help repel dirt and oil to keep hair cleaner longer. This shampoo is also free of sulfates and parabens. The Living Proof Restore Conditioner helps restore damaged hair cuticles, strengthens hair, and renews softness and shine. Like the shampoo, it's free of parabens and sulfates. 
The only real difference between the Restore and the Perfect Hair Day is that the PhD does claim that with use, you can wash your hair less often. So if you are someone who washes daily and you are trying to get away from that and, and go with a longer stretch, you may want to give the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Shampoo and Conditioner a try. If you hear a lot of noise in the background, again, it's summer. <laughs> well, the kids could be on longer while well, I only have pips, but I have two of the kids here and it's just too hard to get everyone to stay quiet. The next thing we're going to talk about is dry shampoo and I'm going to share with you I don't really use a lot of dry shampoo but we'll talk about it a little bit more. The first one I want to share is the Living Proof again PhD. This is the perfect hair day line. I love this shampoo. I always have a regular can and I always take a travel one. Now I try to avoid washing my hair when I travel. If I'm going away for a long weekend I will wash my hair the day that I'm leaving and then hopefully it will get me through. But I always take a dry shampoo just in case I'm styling my hair a lot and I feel like it's getting that product buildup. I don't need dry shampoo because my hair gets oily. If anything, my hair gets drier the longer I go. But if you are someone who does develop a lot of oil and again, you're going to try to go between longer stretches to wash your hair, I would say invest in a dry shampoo. I can't tell you how often you'll need to use it. You need to determine that for yourself. I have a couple girls that have more oily scalps and they go through their dry shampoo much faster than my girls and myself who we just don't develop a lot of oil. Although I work out a lot, it doesn't really matter. I think you just either produce it or you don't, but definitely love the Perfect Hair Day, would recommend this. It does spray clear, smells great, love everything about it. Another dry shampoo that I really love, and I love this line in general. I use a lot of products by It's a 10. Um, this is the Miracle Dry Shampoo and Conditioner in One. This is a great product as well. So I don't have a small travel can. I don't know if it comes in the travel can, but I would recommend this one as well. It also sprays clear. And all of the It's a 10 hair products are very natural. So the whole line is fantastic. I've never been disappointed by anything by It's a 10. So would definitely recommend this one as well. And it may be a little bit less expensive than the Living Proof, not really sure. Another one that I have that I travel with, not sure if this is still available, but if it is, I'll have it linked. If you don't see it, it's because it's no longer available, but it's by Amika. It's the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I love the can. I think it's adorable. I bought a whole bunch of these because they were cute for like stocking stuffers or to give to people, but this is another great one that I would recommend and, I, and it does come in the travel size. I also want to recommend, although I've never used it, because again, if I like something, I'm not really pushed or nudged or inclined to try something else, but my oldest daughter, Kirsten, goes through a lot of dry shampoo because she does have more of an oily scalp and she can't go as many days as I can between washes. She uses a lot of dry shampoo and her favorite one is the Chlorain, I think it is, Chloine or Chlorain. I'll have it linked. I think they also offer in a two pack because she always has me purchase it when Sephora does their, their sale during the spring and the fall but she swears by it, so I will also have the one that she uses linked. So those are the dry shampoos that I share. I also want to mention the Turby Twist towels. I only like the brand Turby Twist. These aren't like the typical microfiber that doesn't absorb. I don't like microfiber anything. My dish towels, my dish cloths, they, I don't know, they don't get rid of, they just hold it in. So. I, I only use the Turby Twist. I even have a few more in my bathroom because I go through these like crazy. So what I do is I keep one Turby Twist in my shower room that I only use on hair washing days. And then on the days that I take a shower, well, I take a shower every day, but on the days that I'm showering and I don't wash my hair, 
I just wrap my hair up in a turby twist towel. It doesn't really get wet because I'm never putting my head under the water spigot. Everyone's shower is designed different, but I don't put, I just clip my hair up or sometimes I don't. I just flip my head upside down and put it in one of these. So I will use a, like a dirty hair turby twist probably two or three times before I, I throw it in, in the dirty clothes. So I don't use one every single time. Same with my turby twist for my clean hair days because the only thing that's going in that one is clean hair. So I'll go several washes utilizing that one and just I let it dry when I'm done. The dirty hair ones, I don't go as long because the only thing I'm wrapping up in these is dirty hair so they need to be washed more frequently. I also do want to share that all the shampoo and conditioners that I shared with you today are safe for color treated hair. That is very important because my hair is always colored. I get it done every five weeks. Well, there you have it, my favorite shampoo and conditioners of 2019 and 2020. Another great line is Purology, and I actually do have a jumbo bottle. I think that I just haven't resourced lately of Purology, but that's a great line as well. I'll be sure to link the one that I use through there. Love to hear what, what you use. Do any of you use the same shampoo and conditioners that I do? Weigh in, let us know, do you love them? Or do you have other ones that you love that you would recommend? Um, also drugstore. I haven't used drugstore shampoo and conditioners in forever. One of the questions that someone asked me was, do my daughters that live at home also use the more high tier shampoo and conditioners or do they use drugstore? They do use drugstore and my husband and I do still pay for those while they're living in the home because you know our kids do pay for a lot of their own things. For example, uh, Carly is living at home again because she's staying home from co staying home and going to college this year. If she needs things like makeup, things like that, face wipes, a lot of that stuff, she just purchases on her own. We don't buy her makeup. If she puts face wipes or a face cleanser in the, the grocery shopping app, then generally we will pick it up. But it's nothing for her to go to Target or something and buy things for herself. But they do use drugstore and they have a couple favorites that they generally request. Uh, maybe sometime I'll have Carly and Chloe pop on here and share some of their favorite hair and uh, face products. Does that sound good, Chloe? Would you, would you be up for that sometime? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. See, she's right in the next room. So anyway, there you go. Favorite shampoo and conditioners. Don't forget to weigh in. Also, just got done publishing monthly motivation for August 1st. Be sure to check it out. It will be linked in the drop down box. I'll also put it up here in the corner talking about what's your story? What are you putting out and how would you want people to to describe you both on the exterior and the interior. I think it's a powerful video. Be sure to check it out. Also last week I shared with you July empties. You guys love my empties videos. You're probably used to seeing some of these products in there. So I will make sure that that video is linked down below and I will also put it up here so that you can uh, get to it there. But yeah, the only other thing I want to share with you is stay tuned next Friday, August 14th, Coach Ashley and myself are going to be doing a class where we're talking about confidence. How to have confidence, how to put confidence out there, and how to attract confident people back into your life. People with that positive energy that I always talk about. So if you want more details on that, there will be a link in the drop down box as well as on the corresponding blog post with more information of my and Ashley's class and where you can get registered. All right, thanks for joining me. Don't forget coming up soon, hair Q&A. Uh, don't leave your questions. Well, you can leave questions, I guess, in the drop down, but that video will already be filmed prior to this video publishing. So I will have already answered those questions that you guys gave to me on Instagram stories. All right, see you soon right here on YouTube. Take care.